because the collection has a bit more of a kind of raw organic feel to it I don't want to do I don't want to make you look really made up so I'm just going to give you more of a neutral so really just uh, work on eyebrows a little bit of um, contouring but not really going into color or makeup so I'm just kind of giving the skin an even tone with the, the Dior foundation and it's going to give your skin a little bit of a glow to it. So with the concealer I use something that's a little bit thicker from Cover FX. It works fantastically and what you want to do is you want to apply it with a brush and then just warm it in with your body heat. The body heat will allow it to spread a little bit more easily. And I always conceal on top as well because if you're concealing the bottom it's a good idea to conceal the top as well. We all have that discoloration or a few veins on our eyelids, so this will take care of that. Sometimes you might find that the foundation looks a little bit heavier at first, but once you allow your body to absorb it, it ends up being quite natural. At this point, you would normally want to set the foundation with a light powder, um, a little bit of uh, loose powder always works well, but because we're going for that more, like I said, organic kind of uh, feel, the skin should naturally be a little bit more dewy as, we, as it would normally be without powder. So I'm not going to put any powder. I'm going to start working right on the eyebrows. So what I'll do is I'll go in with a um, darker eyeshadow which always works great and I find it's easier to use with a, an angled brush or a, a liner brush and I always use a really good stiff toothbrush it works better than a regular brush actually to comb them so I keep applying and then combing up applying shadow and then brushing it away so we're gonna start with uh, the eyeshadow now since we've got the base and the eyebrows done so again we are doing working more with more of the neutral tones. So I'm going to go in with a light, almost skin tone beige color. Close your eyes. And I'm going to pat it on right onto the eyes. What I'm trying to do is pull the colors from the collection that she'll be wearing. It has a lot of beige, neutral, light tones, skin tones. And what you want to do with the shadow is you really want to pat it in as opposed to just wiping it. I find when you wipe it, it uh, you're allowing it to drop on the skin. So what I want to do next is I want to just define her eyes a little bit. So what I'm going to do is with a, uh, a gel-based liner. And I'm just extending the line just a little bit to extend the uh, shape of the eye. And uh, the foundation that we used is the Dior Forever uh, Nude. brown liner on the inside of her eye. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start her contouring. I'm using a bronzer. I like to use the Hoola Benefit or uh, one of my new favorites right now is the uh, Smashbox Bronze Lights in Suntan Matte. Um, I definitely prefer a matte bronzer over a shiny bronzer. I think you can contour the skin a little bit better with it and it ends up looking a lot more natural. So I kind of blend these two. And right under the jawline. And then again around the forehead. I'm gonna take a MAC lip gloss and clear and I'm gonna apply it to the skin. Um, this isn't something you can do for every day because it won't it, it doesn't last very long. It's more of a photography trick, but it'll really give the skin the appearance that it's almost wet. So I'm just literally right there applying it. Oh my god. Huge. Right to the skin. And I'm going to take a little bit of that gloss and I'm going to apply it right to the lids as well. And you want to try to do it at a part that not right in the crease because you're going to be folding the opening and closing your eyes. So I'm going to do a little bit higher, closer to her eyebrow bone. And again, applying it right near the brow bone. And then I'll apply a little bit at the, just to highlight her nose a little bit. And I'll do it a little bit on top of the lip. So my favorite lipsticks, I think really the best lipstick are, uh, lipsticks are the Dior lipsticks and I'm going to do a really nice neutral lip on her. So just kind of mimicking her own color. 
And then I'm going to take the 217 lipstick by Dior and it's a gold lipstick and I'm just going to apply it right in the middle of the lip and that's going to give her lip a little bit more of a poutiness and I don't need to add gloss because this has got a nice creamy sheen to it. And that's it, this is the look we're going for. So again, more of an organic, raw feeling look. Uh, I've added no color to the look. It's all more through definition of using darker and lighter shadows. So I can be uh, contacted if you'd like to look at some of my work at www.arabellatrasca.com. And you can also check out my blog where I do different product review as well as tips and fashion trends with makeup. So it looks like we've done, uh, like, looks like we've done today. And that's at www.arabellatrasca.tumblr. Thanks very much, guys.